Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyebrows. I'm going to go ahead and just start really light strokes at the starting point of my eyebrow and take it up to the highest arch in my eyebrow. I'm not very good at explaining things, but I'm trying. Okay, so... So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Just go ahead and brush it through. I like to start curving it so that my eyebrow can kind of see the shape that I want it to make. And again on the other side. This um, eyeshadow base by NYX Cosmetics. So go ahead and just blend it in from your lash line to the base of your eyebrow. I like to take a little bit and go right underneath my eye area, right where my lashes start. And now I'm going to take um, any light shimmer color that you have. Um, I'm going to apply it just in um, the corners of my eye. So I'm going to take it and just apply it here right in the corner. and a little bit right underneath my eyebrow. And I go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. From there, um, this bronze color from my palette. Now, I depotted all of my um, eyeshadows. I saw the video from um, a makeup guru by the name of Petri Lude, and it was just genius. It added so much space to my makeup bag, so thank you. Um, but I was a little lazy, and I didn't keep the names on the back of the eyeshadows, so I'm not exactly sure what the names are for most of my eyeshadows. Use whatever you have. So I'm adding it to the corner of my eye. I'm blending it with the lighter corner color. Now what I'm going to do is take a blending brush. And I'm just going to go with the same color, go over go over what I already did, and just blend it a little bit more. I'm going to take the same color and put it right underneath my... Um, lash line, kind of blending it into my lashes, right underneath. Okay, so I went ahead and finished um, applying the eyeshadow right underneath my eyes. Um, I applied eyeliner to the top and waterline of my of my eyes. I have a little bit of fallout here that I'm going to just wipe away. 
there are always imperfections. Okay, so after that, I curled my lashes. I added mascara to the bottom lashes. Um, not really the top. Just depends on what I feel that day, but I didn't do it today. Um, I applied a bit of press powder uh, for my forehead, down my nose, onto my cheeks, my upper lip, and my chin area. Um, I took um, setting gel for my eyebrows and went ahead and just applied that because the hairs on this side could be a little stubborn. I applied my false lashes using dark glue by um, Flash Grip and um, I'm going to apply um, some blush. I used a peach color by MAC and lastly I am going to take um, a little bit of lip conditioner. This was a special edition Hello Kitty. Oops. Any pink will do. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and apply it right to my lips. Now, my lips can get a little chapped and cracked especially when I neglect them and forget to put chapstick on. There's a trick that I do personally and um, it's a little different than most people. It's kind of the same thing as um, doing like a face scrub to exfoliate. But what I like to do is my fingers are normal. Okay, they're really dirty because they're full of makeup right now. But, like, I don't have really brittle fingers or anything like that. But what I like to do is with no moisture on my lips is kind of just rub them back and forth. And it's a little gross, but the dead skin does come off. And it makes them super soft. And all you have to do is just rehydrate them when you're done with that. And like I said, it's just like exfoliating your face and everybody has to do it. You know, you get dead skin everywhere if you don't keep up with it. Um, and again, a good moisturizer. So after you're done exfoliating, make sure you moisturize really well, especially before you start your makeup. Uh, same thing goes for your lips. I go ahead and just rub off the dead skin and it's just my fingers and just my lips. I don't do anything special, you know, no scrubs, nothing like that. Um, go ahead and just rub off the dead skin and apply a moisturizer and they are so much softer. So this is the look for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.